Hi everyone, how are you? Welcome to another videos for MRCS exam. And this is the question and answer session. Solve of the question is one of the best way to pass the MRCS exam with a good score. So here the question a 28 years old man lacerated the posterior lateral aspect of his wrist with a knife in an attempted suicide. On arrival in the emergency department, the wound is inspected and found to be located over the lateral aspect of extensor retinaculum. And the extensor retinaculum which is intact. Which of the following structure is the greatest risk of injury? So here a 28 years old man lacerated the posterior lateral aspect of the wrist with a knife and attempted suicide on arrival in the emergency department the wound is inspected and found it is located in the lateral aspect of extensor uh, retinaculum which is the following uh, structure is greatest risk of injury so here this uh, two point is important on is the lacerated at the posterior aspect of the wrist that means uh, the wound is located in the uh, extensor aspect of the wrist and lateral aspect of the wrist that means lateral aspect of extensor aspect of the wrist joint and where uh, exam uh, on examination there is a lateral aspect of the extensor retinaculum and retinaculum is intact that means the structure which lies below the retinaculum this structure will be intact here are the options. Options are superficial branch of the radial nerve, radial artery, dorsal branch of alar nerve, tendon of extensor carpi radialis brevis, and tendon of extensor digiti minimi. So here we have to find out which structure is located. Uh, at the extensor surface of the wrist and the lateral aspect of the extensor surface. So here we can see this is uh, the uh, wrist joint and here this is the extensor retinaculum. This whitish fiber is the extensor retinaculum and in this picture we can see this is the lateral side and this is the medial side or lateral side or it is the radial side on the other hand it is medial side or alar side. So the wound was uh, above the extensor retinaculum so in this area and it's located on the lateral side so usually this wound or this cut injury is like this or lacerated injury it is close to this area and we can see there is one important structure this is the superficial branch of the radial nerve here is the superficial branch of radial nerve which lies above the extensor retinaculum on the other hand we can see in the medial side or in the ulnar side there is another nerve this is the dorsal cutaneous branch of the ulnar nerve so outside the extensor retinaculum we can see the two structure on the lateral side it is a superficial branch of the radial nerve and on the other hand in the medial side or ulnar side there is the dorsal cutaneous branch of the ulnar nerve and we can see the tendons which entering into the and its walls are located just below the extensor retinaculum because tendon uh, leads to contraction or relaxation so uh, it needs a lot of energy so it, it has to be uh, fixed by some structure and this is the extensor retinaculum in this picture we can see this whitish fiber as the deep fascia and here the That is the extensor retinaculum there and we can see here medial and lateral side to another structure such as basilic vein which lies in the medial side and in the lateral side there is the cephalic vein so there is another structure that is cephalic vein which lies lateral side of the extensor retinaculum at wrist joint so cephalic vein also there is a risk of injury of this structure as the injury or lacerated wound are located in the lateral side that means this area so here we can see the superficial of the extensor retinaculum that means the superficial structure of the extensor retinaculum at the wrist joints they are the basilic vein 
dorsal cutaneous branch of the ulnar nerve, cephalic vein, and superficial branch of the radial nerve. But among these lateral side there are two structure and medial side there are two structure. In the lateral side we saw that there the two structures are the superficial branch of the radial nerve and cephalic vein. Say this one of the two structure there is a great risk of injury in this case because the lacerated wound is above the extensor retina column and on the lateral side and above the extensor retina column there are two structures present cephalic vein and superficial branch of the radial nerve so we have to find out here we can see the superficial branch of radial nerve and it is great risk of injury during the uh, for the laceration of the posterolateral aspect of the wrist and other structures such as radial artery it uh, lies in the flexor aspect dorsal branch of the ulnar nerve this lies on the medial side outside the extensor retina column not in the lateral side tendon all tendons are lies the below the extensor retina column so our final answer it is the superficial branch of the radial nerve which may be injured in this condition